All right, guys, Steve and I fixed them again today. We're checking a coil driver from a computer to a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, this essentially work on most coils where you have access to the wiring on this style of a coil. Um, what we got is a misfire. Milner 2 with a code 2302. And got our uh, four wires to it. The brown wire in this case is an automatic shutdown relay. And the other three, this has three separate drivers. One driver drives two cylinders each. So I'm gonna hook up to one of the wires. You see how that's flashing? That tells you that the computer is sending a ground to cycle 12 volts to the coil. I'm gonna go to this wire. It stays lit. I'll test the continuity from that wire to the computer. So the computer is not grounding the wire to cycle it. I'm gonna go to the third driver. And, I mean, this is true, but you can see if the light's flashing. So, the computer, the coil driver, for one of the three drivers of the coil, the, the computer is not grounding it out. I did throw a coil on it, thinking initially, since it had no spark, that that was going to solve that you know, quick and dirty because you don't get a ton of computers. But in this case, I need a computer. And in addition to that, this thing's got original wires and you can see there's no spark. There's my spark tester. Coming from the coil. And we swapped wires too to make sure it wasn't a wire. So uh, in this case, this is looking like this is gonna need a computer. Anyway, that's a way to use a nice $10 test light to check a coil driver from a computer to the coil, uh, trying to diagnose a misfire. Uh, again, this is a 2302, so it was a primary circuit code for the coil. I fixed them, have fun guys. Click.